This morning I set everything up, but I forgot to turn on the transmitter for the audio. And what I'm hoping to do was actually to show you how I set up the Hummingbird Studio. So here I am opening up the window screen. I'm grabbing my first flash, which is the back flash. Um, I call it group A, so that's the back flash. Back flash, I need to mount it um, at the under, you know, un underneath the overhand. And it will point to where the session is. Here's the second flash, group B, that I simply clamp it to a cabinet door. The plastic bag includes a uh, homemade reflector of a uh, aluminum tray to create, in my opinion, a, a more pleasant catch light in the hummingbird. Here I have the support structure. And I just uh, Velcro a gold reflector, circular reflector of a cake, a birthday cake actually. Open up the aluminum foil reflectors. Again, there's a gold uh, reflector at the middle, in the middle. And I simply Velcro this uh, entire support using a clamp to the window frame. And now it's nice and secure, or reasonably nice and secure. And then I grab the third flash, which is the under flash, I call it, you know, group C. And I'm putting on the uh, internal diffuser just to soften the light a little bit. Then I put the cover on. So this will support whatever we put on it. And today I actually put on a miniature wind chime wooden dummy. And the last one is the um, fill flash, group D, that I clamp it to a you know, photography arm, I guess. And the plastic bag, again, it's to soften the light, make it more even. Um, again, the fuel flash is gonna be very super low power, actually. So that's the entire Hummingbird Studio setup. It took me under three minutes um, in this today. <laughs> Normally it probably take me less time. And the four flashes actually each one has its own function. Uh, the back flash, which is shown in the, um, the top left photo. So it gives this beautiful rim light that separate, um, you know, hummingbird, or in this case, a yarn uh, in the shape of a butterfly, which is very, very, you know, from a very, very kind lady. Her name is Carol. Um, so that's the back flash, right? And then um, the bottom left photo is the fill, uh, the the front flash, which is the main flash that you know light up the front side of the hummingbird, but it's coming from the right side. And then the C group is the under light. Okay, the um, um, the it's it's not very obvious because uh, the hum the wooden dummy is wooden, <laughs> but if it's a translucent, you know, glass or something like that, then it would be very very apparent. Okay, I'm gonna have a shoot on a um, on a stained glass um, candle holder, and that will completely demonstrate the the power actually of the under flash. And uh, uh, the bottom right photo is with the field flash. Again, very, very light, okay? You can hardly uh, tell, but it is there and it's important to add uh, a, a catch light actually. 
to the hummingbird if uh, it's pointing certain ways. And so I'm very, very, very particular about having a catch light in the eye because otherwise it doesn't really look alive. Later on, Chaser came and we uh, begin to shoot. So Chaser was here for about 60 seconds and within that 60 seconds I took 24 photos. It's really interesting having a little studio like this. So in between Chase's visit, which is about 20 to 30 minutes, you know, if I'm really free, essentially I can take photos and go over them and make any adjustment that I need and wait for Chaser to come back again. So normally I will keep a setup like this uh, for the entire day and go through all the ambient lights. Today is actually different. Today is an overcast day, so it will probably stay like this the entire day. Um, but during a sunny day, in the morning, this <coughs> excuse me. In the morning, this win window actually gets really, really bright light, um, and I can play with other things. So here are the twelve photos out of the twenty-four. After Lightroom selection, and there's a minimum post-processing and cropping. So this is cropping at a. Um, you know, including the prop, right? including the Wing Chun wooden dummy. But I can also crop it so much tighter and show the hummingbird in really all its glory. Look at the, you know, the under light that basically create this incredible image. 